Hi, I'm June, the Happy Thai Girl. Today, I'm tossing up some pat si yu, translated to soy pan-fried noodles, Thai style. I know I don't have to tell you that it's so yummy. That's coming right up on Spanish Fork 17's Cooking Made Easy with June, brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store in Spanish Fork. Welcome, so today we're doing a pan-fried noodle, which is, you know, like a, it's not the, like in, at Panda where it's this, the Chinese style, but it's actually Thai style. So basically we start off with the rice noodles. Um, I love rice noodles because it's naturally gluten-free and a lot, many people are gluten-free. And so um, it's a great uh, go-to and so different than just rice, you know. So basically it comes in a package similar to this. You can get this brand at Macy's. Um, and this one's a little thinner, but I, you can also get it at some Asian stores, but it, it could be either size. And then you would, as far as, like, you know how when I do um, pad thai, I just soak it? But this one is not as saucy, and it's made, so CU is like uh, translated to soy sauce. So, um, so it's a little different, so it doesn't need as, it doesn't have as much sauce. So what you need to do is boil them first for about three minutes and then drain it. And I did this over uh, the night before and then I just, uh, excuse me, store it in a plastic container or bag ready to go whenever you're ready to make pad thai. I mean, excuse me, pad siu. Uh, so, okay, so I have the noodles ready and then I'm just going to uh, cut up my chicken. Um, now, of course, you could do go vegan and not put any chicken. Um, but of course, you want to have somehow flavor the noodles either with uh, vegetable broth or chicken broth. So I love this package from Macy's because it's already trimmed, hand trimmed, and ready to cook. And so that makes it so much easier, and they do such a great job. So it's really, um, so I'm going to move this over here. And so it's really already all the yucky stuff's cut off. And so I like to always do this, I don't know, because I like thinly sliced chicken, right? So I uh, normally just do a lengthwise cut and then I go into my cut and I still go thinly this way also. So it's kind of like a stir fry cut. So Macy's also has their chicken um, ready for you to go even more ready <laughs> in a stir fry cut. It's already cut up like this. So if you're in a real hurry or, I mean, you could always make, you know those uh, companies where you can say, where they send you all the fresh, the food ready to go and all the ingredients. Um, honestly, and save your money and just go to Macy's. They have so many half prepared things for you and you can just make it your fresh yourself. Of course, get my cookbook, <laughs> Thai Food Made Easy, and um, or come to our show and get the recipes and, and you can plan it for the whole week. I mean, we have desserts, we have savory things. In fact, I was gonna ask, uh, talk to my station manager. We need to start labeling our YouTube uh, videos as dinner and maybe when you've got people search for dinner, there'll be some more dinner ideas and people can find uh, our dinner recipes, so, for lunch. <laughs> and what I love about Asian food also is that it makes so much. You can actually meal prep and you can have lots of yummy leftovers. So I cut it lengthwise and I also cut it crossways, so I have my chicken ready. I'm gonna put my chicken right there. Then I'm going to rinse this off, which you probably don't have to because I'm gonna be cooking the veggies anyways. I'm going to wash this off really quickly and I'm going to go ahead and turn it over the other side anyways. Oh, we got some other things. Now. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and do my veggies. Now, there's not a lot of vegetables in this dish, so I'm going, but I'm going to just add a little bit of cabbage. So this is a Chinese cabbage and I love it because it stores really well and you could use it for so many things. Um, but you just break, it comes like this and then you just take off the leaves and rinse them off. And then I like to cut off this little rough edge, just a little bit off. And throw that. And you don't have to, you could use it, you know, it's edible, but. And then I'm just going to do a quick, like, thin strips like this. And I might not use all this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way. Now, sometimes it comes into smaller leaves, but then it gets bigger right over here. So I'm just going to cut that like that, and I'm going to cut it like this. Now, 
some stir fries, uh, the, they'll just cut this into and you'll have a little square, like the, the Chinese stir fry, uh, the chicken and vegetable stir fry. It's called mugu gai pan. <laughs> um, but for this soy, I'm just gonna cut some fresh veggies like this. Pull it up, okay. All right, let's put this over here. I may not use all of it, but I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my onion. Now, once you get everything prepped, as you know, um, in stir fries, then I'm, then it's a quick stir fry after that. So Patsy Yu, um, it's kind of like making fried rice, you know, but with rice noodles instead of the rice because we're going to prep the eggs also with it. So I love peeling onions like that. Cut on each side and then you're ready to go. I'm not going to cut really small pieces. I'm just going to quarter it like that and go lengthwise like that. And we have our onions and you can separate that as you put them into your stir fry. So we have this and that and this. Okay, so now I'm going to um, go ahead and cut my, uh, crack my eggs. Um, now there's, this is, uh, helps with the protein. If you don't want eggs, again, you don't have to put eggs, but um, of course it adds more flavor. I love it. There's not a lot of flavor in eggs, but it just adds cheap protein there. And then you can actually do, um, if you don't have chicken, you can actually just go ahead um, and how do it with eggs and it would be delicious. I guess you could serve it as a side and then not put chicken on it. But. Now I'm doing a few more noodles than the recipe calls for, so normally it calls for four eggs, but I'm just gonna add some eggs here. Okay. Um, oh well, might as well just, okay, I like eggs in there. Add some color also, and that's it. Um, I'm also going to, let's grab my chopstick <laughs> and just beat the eggs a little bit lightly like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little break and we're going to put it together. So when you come back, I'll have the hot wok waiting for you. Well, how can an Asian forget garlic? Well, I did. <laughs> so I forgot to do the garlic. So I'm gonna do that really quickly here for you. Um, just in case you haven't seen, and some of you haven't seen on my other shows where I just um, mince the garlic. You just never know, right? Um, so you just smash it and uh, peel it. it. Makes it easier to peel. Okay, now these bulbs are a little bit small. Um, Oh my goodness, let me get a bigger bowl. Okay, so then you just smash it and peel it, and then mince it. You don't need a ton of garlic. This is kind of a simple uh, dish, which is just so yummy, I don't know. Um, I, in the, the background, I don't normally make a lot of this patsy yu, uh, but I had a friend that told me about a Thai restaurant and June, you need to go try it. Um, and it's, and she goes, my favorite dish is patsy yu. I'm like, oh, okay. And it was just this. <laughs> Cause I don't normally make patsy yu. I'm like, oh, okay. That's what soy eat see you. Yeah, that sounds, that means uh, soy sauce in Thai. <laughs> but I'm using black soy, so I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so we have our garlic ready. And I'm gonna move my hot wok over here. Yeah. Okay, I think I have it on. Okay, so then we just start, like any stir fry, um, add a little bit of oil. Um, now when you do noodles, uh, this kind of pan fry, you're gonna be adding a little bit more oil than the other, but I'm gonna do the eggs first. So let's do this. So I'm just gonna heat the oil until it's pretty hot. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Now this is a non-stick wok. I love my electric wok, it's so weird. I love this, it gets hot so quickly. And I'm just going to just quickly, let me see, let me test it. Almost, almost. Let me get a plate for my eggs while I'm waiting. 
or a bowl. Oh, that plate's so big. <laughs> Can I put, get a plate over here for my eggs? Okay, now it's hot. There we go. So I'm just going to let it cook, a quick cook. I guess I could have made it a little bit hotter. So you just spread it like that. I love the wok because it's, it's like an, um, it makes anything. But if you're going to make, cook the eggs, you just move it around and spread the sides because the sides are also hot. And you don't have to cook it all the way. And in fact, some people just stir fry it, but I like to have a little bit of different shape and texture and not just like scrambled eggs, more like a fried egg. I'm actually going to add a little bit of salt, just a little bit, just to flavor the eggs, just a tiny bit. Okay. I can smell the fried eggs. Don't you love like some mornings if you're making eggs for breakfast with toast. Reminds you of so many things. You know, it's funny how different smells remind you of different memories you have. So I don't know why this is not getting too hot. Okay. Okay, so then I'm just going to turn it over a little bit like that. Just a quick fry, because we're going to return it to the pan at the end. So a, I guess you can call it a soft fry. <laughs> so it'll cook a little bit more. Okay, we have that. I'm just going to put my eggs here. And I can hear the sizzle. So that keep the pan on hot because we're going to go ahead and turn around to do our chicken, our meat. All right, so where's, okay, so here I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Okay, it's still hot. And then, add our garlic. Oh, I don't wanna put a little piece of cabbage on there. Add our garlic. And I'll just go ahead and stir that. Can you smell that virtual reality? Oh, and I just love the smell of cooked garlic in oil. So you want to cook the garlic till it's starting to brown like that. And then you add your chicken. And you want to cook your meat till it's nearly done because you don't want to have any raw pieces, any straying pieces. I'm going to switch. At this point, I'm also going to add a tiny, tiny bit of salt, just a pinch, not even. I like to flavor uh, my meat at different levels so that we can get a full flavor. Honestly, at this point, if you don't want to do brown all sides, you can actually go ahead and cover your wok and let the chicken cook a little bit longer. and. I'm going to do that. I'm going to move things around to be ready for the other things. While it's cooking a little bit longer, I'm going to talk about the black soy. Now, a lot of people wonder why the difference between black soy and um, regular soy. Well, black soy is supposed to be a little sweeter. And it is. <laughs> has a little, it's not really sweet. It's just a little sweeter. Um, so, and it's a little bit thicker. Uh, sometimes you see a black sweet soy. You could use that too. So even that is even sweeter than this. And it would still be really good. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, so that's the black soy. It's a little thicker. It tastes a little bit more 
uh, flavor, like a bolder soy flavor. So that's the difference in what we're going to use. So we're going to use primarily the black soy. All right, so I think that's ready. See how it's uh, no longer pink? Let's go ahead and add our onions. I'm going to break it up a little bit. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to use all these onions. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to add, so what, when you stir fry, you want to add the vegetables that are, take a little bit longer to cook. And so um, first, so I'm adding, I'm going to save some carrots for garnish. Um, but I'm going to add um, my carrots, my onions and my carrots, because see, uh, they take a little bit longer to cook. And then you stir and just cook. You can have kids help you cook at this point too. They can say, okay, you guys stir, or you guys put it in. Just get a little stool for them, for them and they can just and help you that way. So um, I'm going to cook the onions for just a little bit also. But honestly, I don't love my vegetables too cooked. <laughs> and so I'm going to add, uh, um, go ahead and add my, I want to make sure you have a little bit of green in there and some of the white. And let's see. All right, let's start adding the seasonings because uh, the noodles will taste good with a, a soy, but we're going to add a little, this is optional. Unless you're allergic to accent, it's not bad for you. I have a lot of noodles, so I'm actually, I don't want too much. So um, accent, and a quarter teaspoon, so a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Because I'm doubling the noodles. So a, a full one, that's about a half. And I had already added some with the chicken. And then we have the accent, the fish sauce. So let's do a teaspoon. So two teaspoons of fish sauce. One, two. And then I'm going to wait to add the soy last. Oh goodness, the pepper's making me sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. You always <coughs> fear that. Okay, thank you for... I, I guess that somebody said because sometimes, <laughs> or bless you. Uh, so I assume that you guys said that. <laughs> okay, so and then a little bit of chicken broth. Because you know why I add chicken broth? The noodles have no flavor, and I use boneless, skinless chicken. So every time you use boneless, skin, skinless chicken, there's no fat on it. And so you've got to add a little other flavor in it, okay? So, to onion. Okay, so, and that's it. Now we're going to add our noodles. Goodness, it's a lot of noodles. Woo. So I took these out of the fridge and so they're kind of stuck together. So then you can just rinse them off with a little warm tap water and drain it again. And uh, then you're, you're ready to go. So right now the noodles are not finished but it's partially cooked. So from the boiling the night before. I suppose you could have this, like have it ready and you could use it the same as pad thai, but then you don't have to let it simmer as long. So I'm going to first toss, see I have little clumps in there. I'm going to toss this. I'm gonna add a little chicken broth on the, this little clumpy noodle side. Just so if you see that, okay, now that we're going to add the black soy. Um, so it's three quarter cup, because that's the main ingredient, right? Oh, because I'm doing um, double, I'm just gonna eye it. So you guys follow the recipe, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. Okay, so now I have my wok so high, but it, the sizzle went down because the noodles were cool and also I added some sauce to it, right? So, add a little bit more because it calls for double of that, which is one and a half because it was three quarter cup for one thing. So I'm going to see how I, I know because it just coats it like that. Okay, now, once you've coated it, I want you to put 
a lid on it and let it simmer for a little bit and chew the desired tenderness that you want. In the meantime, let's see, where's my green onions? Okay, I already put away my chopping board. <laughs> but I'm going to pull out my kitchen scissors and I'm just going to, this is another option for you, <laughs> is to um, kitchen shears and, now you know what's the difference? This one has a big and small, so all your fingers go in that one and the thumb goes in the smaller one. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over here. I'm going to just cut the onions um, for the end. Since I put away my cutting board. You guys, so this is like so easy. <laughs> I've made it for neighbors before and they just rave. I don't know, it's just sometimes the simplest things are the more delicious, the most delicious. Okay. And you can add, of course, have more onions if you'd like. All right, let me check this. Okay. Awesome. Now, at this point, you can test your noodle and see if you like that texture. I like mine a little chewy, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, I'm going to add my eggs. I'm going to chop with the... Okay. Like that. Just coarsely chop it. And then toss it. And then add your green onions. All right. It's almost done. So... Let's take a break and, well, I'll, let me finish it off. <laughs> I always say, it. let's take a break. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. And you, of course, you add your onions and I'm gonna leave a little bit for garnish at the end. All right, you guys, let's take a break now and come back and I'm gonna serve it on a pretty plate for you. Right, I'm just plating some up here. I think that's good. And then we'll add a few garnishes. So you can actually either have your family gather around the walk or you can just um, put in a pretty bowl. I love this bowl, magnolia bowl. So, okay, so we have that and we have some bowls to serve in and I'm going to take a taste. Oh, of course, the sriracha. You guys, sriracha is awesome, but I know that some people are babies about it. <laughs> Calling Pete out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna taste some of the noodles. And uh, like I said, you can actually have um, no meat. You don't have to use chicken. And you can just use eggs or no eggs for protein. So I gotta add sriracha, what the heck? A little bit of sriracha. This is Thai, by the way. So many Asians take credit for it. It's Thai. Mm. I'm just got the chicken. Mm. So good. I love the texture of the noodles, and I don't like to get overcooked. So that's what you guys need to do. So uh, go to Macy's, get all your stuff at Macy's. Actually, yes, so Macy's does have, uh, they do have those noodle, the rice noodle sticks. Um, now, I just had a thought before I came. If you cannot find black soy, you can use regular soy sauce and um, add uh, some brown sugar. I would say for the recipe, I would add another two tablespoons of sugar and then add um, the soy sauce. Maybe less soy sauce, because this is not as salty. So that's the substitute if you cannot find black soy. But Macy's has everything else. Carrots already cut, green onions, cabbage, even the, the bok choy, the Chinese cabbage. That's it, eggs, huh? Oh, you're ready to go, easy dinner. So, till next time, happy cooking.